So, yeah, just looking at the history in this section of Allah and who he is uh, from an archaeological perspective, but very similar to John, I've had uh, friends of mine at dinner parties and so on say, you know, what are you Christians and Muslims arguing about? You worship the same God. After all, as John pointed out, Ishmael, the father of the Arabs, um, you know, was a descendant of Abraham and clearly would have worshipped the same God. That's why they're called an Abrahamic religion. But is it the same God? We've got to keep in mind that even the Jews continually fell away from the God of Abraham. And here we have some archaeological evidence that the uh, God most widespread through the ancient Middle East was in fact the moon god, not known by various different names, but very commonly known as sin, not the sin that we know as disobedience to God, but another reference um, or another meaning of the word sin, which came from the Sumerian word suin. But the Sumerians even had uh, a temple to the moon god in Ur, there's thousands of clay tablets that have been discovered in that region referring to the moon god, usually represented with a crescent moon. The Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Akkadians, all are known to have worshipped the moon god. And uh, it's it's represented in, in, in the Canaanite area as well. And it seems to be some link to the god Baal and astrological observances as well but also in the arabian peninsula uh, there's been temples found and and artifacts found referring to the moon god and there's there's uh, little idols and statues that have been found with crescents on on their bodies and allah the moon god was uh, believed to have three daughters who were were gods of the stars and also gods of the sun and in mecca itself there was at least 360 gods worshipped at the Kaaba in mecca and mecca indeed was a a temple site built as a shrine for the moon god originally muhammad er eventually conquered the meccans or the Quraysh tribe and took over Mecca. And basic, basically what he did was convince everybody that the moon god Sin was not just the chief god or the head of all the other gods. He was indeed the only god. So there has been a, a temple of the moon god discovered in southern Arabia in the 1940s. And at that temple, there are at least 21 inscriptions to Sin, the moon god. But the Bible also speaks about uh, the moon god and, and the worship of astrological sort of beings. And here's some examples here in Deuteronomy. Take heed lest you lift your eyes to heaven and when you see the sun, the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, you feel driven to worship them and serve them. So Moses in Deuteronomy was warning them not to worship the sun and the moon gods and the, the heavenly hosts, but to worship the one true God. Further on in, in Kings, Manasseh, the son of Ahab, raised up altars for Baal and made a wooden, wooden image as Ahab, king of Israel, had done, and he worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. And a few chapters later, King Josiah was tearing those things down. He removed the idolatrous priests. And notice that word, idolatrous. It's regarded as idolatry to worship the moon god and those who burned incense to Baal to the sun to the moon to the constellations and there's a couple of other passages there as well that covers it indeed chuck misler um, speaks about a cylinder that's in the british museum that was discovered at a ziggurat at ur and it's inscribed in the Babylonian cuneiform. And I think Joseph might mention this a little bit later, but he, he is something like that, I think, in his own collection by the sound of it. But it's got a prayer to the moon god Sin 
inscribed on it. And it actually mentions Belshazzar um, by name. And he was previously thought to be a myth, apart from those who trust the Bible, I guess, uh, as his father was known to be the king of, of Babylon. So there's, there's lots of archaeological evidence out there uh, about the moon god Sin right across the Mesopotamian region. So Allah, where do we get the term Allah? Well, it, it, it means God now, but historically Ilah was a, a phase of the moon god. And what Muhammad did when he brought in the, the concept of there is only one god, he says Al-Ilah, basically the god. There's only one god. But the idea that Allah didn't sort of exist as a, as a, a god before Muhammad's time is, is proven incorrect in the fact that even Muhammad's father and uncle had Allah in their name and clearly they came from pagan grandparents, they named, named by pagan grandparents. So the idea of Allah is, is well known prior to Muhammad's time. And as we said before, Allah had daughters and other gods worshipped um, worshipped Allah prior to Muhammad. Now Ramadan is is a, a Islamic feast. Well, actually, it's not a feast. It's a, a time of um, fasting. <laughs> fasting, not feasting. <laughs> uh, fasting, <laughs> the opposite. Yeah. And that starts on a crescent moon and ends on a crescent moon. It's the, it's a month or a month beginning on a crescent moon and ending on a crescent moon. So there's lots of other evidences throughout the Islamic world that uh, the crescent moon is still there. There's some of the flags of the world. Uh, there's, there's Ramadan and other things like that as well. And, of course, you see the crescent moon on the top of minarets and mosques as well. So does Allah just mean God? As my friend was trying to convince me, and as as John pointed out, Muhammad also was saying, Allah just means God. Well, there's a test that is a, a, a pre, previous Muslim Walid Shubat says you can you can test out if Allah just means God, and that's the way you become a Muslim by saying Allah is God and Muhammad is his prophet three times. If Allah just means God. He said you can test this with a Muslim and say, well, God is God and Muhammad is his prophet. And they responded, no, you've got to say Allah is God. But you said Allah means God. So why can't I just say God is God and Muhammad is his prophet? No, you've got to say Allah. And that highlights the fact that Walid Shabbat was saying that Allah is a name. Allah is now regarded as a name and uh, you've got to say it. It's a deity. You try saying, as John pointed out, Jehovah is God and Moses is his prophet and see how you go with Muslims. They won't accept it. Allah is a name, it is a deity, and it's not the same as the God of the Bible. And there's another quote from the Quran highlighting the fact that Christians are worshipping Jesus and that is not consistent with the Islamic understanding. And blasphemy indeed are those that say that God is Christ, the son of Mary. Whereas Paul clearly taught that he is the son of God. They said there in Acts 9.20, talking about Paul, immediately preached the Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God. <clears throat> 